Thorpe as a, as a project um, still ranks amongst the uh, most complex uh, large-scale nuclear facility projects uh, anywhere in the world. By anybody's description, it was a mega project of international proportions. Thorpe, in its early um, design and construct days, was called Sellafield II. What was in uh, the old Magnox plants spread between many facilities across um, d different areas of the site was actually brought together into one building. Uh, that was quite innovative at the time. We were building a system. It wasn't a plant, it was a system. So that system included international transport, new packages and flasks, new ships, um, new ponds, a reprocessing plant, effluent treatment plants, vitrification plants, all of which combined to bring forward the cellar field that we see today. It, well, it was huge. It's just the sheer volume of people. You know, the you know Balfour Beatty Fair Club, from where I work for, I think they had about 25 buses every day, which were picking up on all the, the main streets. And so you'd, you'd see the people gathered up at the bus stops in the morning in all the towns, where the buses went around collecting them on the on the site itself. You know, we had people from from all over the country uh, employed on the site. You know, we we even had some of them, I believe, hot bedding where the where the day shift workers were in a bed in the day and at night and then the night shift workers during the day and they're just swapping over. Um, you know, accommodation was, was, was really tight. 21 towel cranes and um, without them we wouldn't have done it. Uh, th there were enormous things. I mean, uh, I had crossed, the, we had an incident once where a load slipped through its brakes and I in commissioned an inquiry into it. But uh, I wanted to go and see for myself and climbing up those steps or ladders that the crane drivers did every day <laughs> was quite a feat and they did sway in the wind and when they put the brakes on you'd be looking at the Isle of Man going up and then you'd be looking at Scotland the next minute because it would turn around and twist. I remember um, during the early part of construction a shield door being dropped and cutting a, at the back of a lorry in half. A shocking experience and somewhere we had to learn. We were under a lot of pressure, but to do it right, when you're building a nuclear reprocessing plant, it doesn't matter how far you're behind program or what, you've got to do it right. You know, we, we're one of the heaviest regulated industries uh, in the world, and we had to do it right. Thorpe was such a massive challenge. I mean, this was a, a two billion pound chemistry set, uh, and it's not every day you get to commission a job like that. 